Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays with some illusion of Gaia. Last time in the Moo? Kingdom of Moo? I don't know what it is. We were able to take down Count Chocula and his sister. And we wound up in the seaside tunnel. Today's episode is probably gonna have a little bit of exposition-y stuff, and then hopefully the start of the dungeon. So we'll see how that goes. Very excited about it. If you like being in moist, wet tunnels, consider liking this video, commenting, and subscribing. All right, here we go. So apparently we've been in here for five days, which is great. Just hanging out with our friends in this poo-poo water. It's going all around us. Same as here goes on. Yeah, well, well, duh, you're in a tunnel. Man, this tunnel sure looks like a tunnel. Great job, game. So I guess this tunnel is huge. Hot dog in a hallway style. If you know what I'm saying. Everybody's a bunch of babies, but now Kara is going to be the voice of reason of all people. What do we bring for snacks? Hopefully something good. So now everybody's going to pair off. We can talk to them. That's what... You, okay. Thousands of people... Thousands of years ago. I kind of like that. The idea of... Kind of the stretch of humanity. How long that we have existed... In the scheme of... You know, the universe. Or even just in the scheme of, like, Earth. You know, I think... Earth is clocked at around four-ish billion years old, and I think humans have only really been around in various capacities of evolution for about 200,000 years. So realistically, 200,000 out of four billion isn't a lot. Very small timeline. Very small. Oh, Eric's taking a pee. That's funny. I hope that's what that actually meant. Yes. That's probably... The most accurate thing that's ever been said in this entire series. Interesting. Yeah, this game likes to be a little introspective about history and how that folk how that functions. Also, I like the dripping effect. It's kind of laid on as it's definitely a layer. It's not there's no 3D component to it. It kind of looks like it is, but what they did probably is just scaled down some of the drops to be further in the background to look like they are or they're just scaled down in size to look like they are further in the background I want a steak in a set I would love a steak in a set skin has gone dry from eat well what are we eating what are we talking about here alright so enough griping apparently we're friends with a bunch of babies oh we've been eating mushrooms yesterday baked mushroom the day before boiled mushroom alright and tomorrow purple mushroom I mean All right, so we're struggling right now. Um, we're not doing great, and uh, but we got to do what we got to do to survive. This is what humanity has thrived on for thousands of years: the will to survive. Get it? I've actually heard that you know if there was going to be an unfortunate collapse of society that you could re you could subsist on mushrooms if you grew them the right way because you can grow them very plentifully and in pretty eager or sorry not eager meager conditions so anybody that's like a uh, mycologist the study of mushrooms mycology anybody who wants to chime in let me know but from what i've seen it you could and by all means i don't hate mushrooms i mean i'll get mushrooms on a pizza or maybe a burger but you know, I don't want to turn into a, a brain face exploded zombie, so I try to be careful. Unable to sleep, I sit in an underground river. Okay. Can't sleep? Here's some... Here's an ambient. All right. You've changed. So, aw, thanks. I feel like this game would serve a little bit better if Will was maybe like the Chrono of the Chrono Trigger silent protagonist. There's just a lot of jabbering in this in this game. I can use some strange power. 
Yeah, this sounds like something that a little kid would say at recess. Yeah, I have strange power, and I can change to the body of a warrior. But Will attributes this to his dad going to the Tower of Babel. He thinks that they're connected somehow. <laughs> at first it was for fun, but now, okay. Wow, very good, very good story writing. Very cryptic. I'm going to withhold this by literally saying that I'm going to withhold this information. Great plot device. So yeah, you got to get this out of the way. This is the exposition side of the episode. Hopefully we'll get away from this. This is very exciting. I don't even remember this, to be honest. An odd sound from above. What could it have been? It's like somebody just having just disastrous explosive diarrhea. She's like, I can't sleep. <laughs> Please, help me. Where's the baby wipes? Oh, what is that sound? It's fracking. Uh-oh. That's not good. Rivers? What? <laughs> Just run backwards from where you came. Okay, so apparently they're all convinced that it's that giant fish that swallowed Seth eons ago. This vibrating sound. Oh, it's Morse code. I could, he just knows that. He's like, alright, so there could be a giant fish, or it's ships trying to communicate with each other. SOS. Whatever. This is ridiculous. And I don't know if this is actual Morse code. I don't know it, so. Oh, <laughs> it is Seth. He's communicating from behind, beyond the grave. I don't think that was supposed to be said out loud. Oh, we know. I like how they have to parse it out like it is. Gonna be Morse code. The form of my body had changed. Okay. I don't think it is. I want to say that it's a, a fish. Evolution is... Okay, so this comet that is in the sky apparently is causing effects to everything. I would like to get this over with, though. I wanted to continue the journey with you. In parentheses, not Kara. But not in this body. Okay. Thanks, Seth. So Seth is a giant fish now? Do you think Seth hates fish sticks in his mouth? <laughs> this guy must have studied Morse code. Yeah, I don't know what's going on right now. This is a very strange part of the story. Some people out there really are just shapes. Okay. So apparently a month worth of walking and eating mushrooms has led us to the Angel Tribe. So we're in the Angel Village now. Great. Yeah, so, I don't know if this is related, if they're referring to, like, the biblical angels or, like, the Abrahamic religion angels, but when you think of angels, there are manifestations in media of, like, people wearing white robes and glowing and halos and golden hair, all that stuff. But those are, like, if you've, if you've read any of those scripts before, it's, like, lower angels, whereas, like, the higher angels are horrifying. If you ever want to go look those up, do it at your own, uh, you know, it's a, it's a warning. So, they're real creepy. There's one that apparently has, like, thousands of eyeballs. Another one that has, like, wheels and stuff spinning all around it. Very strange. So, yeah. If you want to look that up, go for it. But it is very strange. And I imagine a lot of the 
kind of imagery was coming from people that were probably high as kites way back in the day and they didn't know how to explain that there is potential research out there that shows that in the areas where people were writing these manuscripts that they were potentially um, getting high off of acacia plants which creates the drug DMT I think is what it is and so maybe that's what it is maybe they're all just high off their gourds and writing down what they see in their funny their funny brain pictures anyway so now we're in the angel village Lily has had enough so we can go down there and talk to them if we want to hang out little green room there's also these weird holes in the ground. We're gonna go down this ladder instead. What does this say? The Angel Village entrance. So this, I believe, is one of said angels. Hello? Okay, so you guys are also vampires. Or redheads. Okay, so let's see. We're going to... What is this? What is this? I don't know. Those are stairs, obviously. Okay. Maybe that just makes them have to pee. Okay, so this is a lady angel. She's got her hair up. We have no emotions, like most people I know. All right, that sounds pretty miserable. Hopefully you get some help. This is a very weird part of the game. We're just going to be scooting. Scoot, 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 scoot. Hello. The jeweler gem. Thanks. Give you my red jewels. This is a rare jewel. Let me hold it. Now we have 23. So that means we are on track. Nice. Getting our psycho power raised. Our psycho dash is raised. See our inventory here? Give you the goods. All right, so we need seven more for another dark power and 54, my secrets. But yeah, if you have 23 up to this point, then you are on track. Oh, here's Link or Zelda, woman playing the harp. It's the best medicine for the soul. I think the best medicine for the soul is laughter, but you know, the right, so I, don't, I don't know about that. I'm not sure how many diseases we're curing with, with harps. I mean, harps are fine, but you know. Oh, you look a little stuck. And there's all these signs that are on the wall, but there's no real, like, saying what they are. What are you doing? A thousand statues? Well, I mean, you got a lot of time, and you guys have no emotions. Why not? What are you? Yeah, this... I don't, I don't get it. I'm not entirely, entirely sure what's happening right now. Do you know the painter Ishtar? No. You should speak with everybody. All right, so this is a dungeon. We're not ready for that yet. We need to grab one thing. I skipped it on accident. There's all these weird like bamboo things in the ground. I think I was supposed to go Ooh, there's a dark space in here. That's nice. Hopefully that lets us change into freedom. That'd be nice. I doubt it, but... If they're playing music, though, I would like to go into a place that... Okay. Um... Sorry? Yeah, I heard that. People here love to dance. I dance to remember what it feels like to be... Oh, so you did... You were humans. Okay, um... This is weird. I don't I don't love this. We're expressionless, but Ishtar painted us with faces overflowing with human kindness. So apparently this Ishtar is quite the painter. Coming in here though, that's what I wanted. Wanted to grab that red jewel. That's the 24th one. You should have just that many. 
Where was that? Here's a dark space if you want to save. Not that I really need to do that, but... You know, because I'm pretty awesome. Alright, so let's go... And do a few minutes... Of the dungeon. I do like Will's sidling animation. Do you know Ishtar? No. But we're gonna break into his house. Alright, so here we go. These are... Stronger versions of some of the enemies we've already fought in the beginning of the game, but these ones obviously are a little bit more more better. Whoa! Yeah, you thought. Probably not going to accomplish a ton. But... Yeah, what an exciting start to this dungeon. Looks like eyeballs. <laughs> And don't forget, you do have the Psycho Slide to do a little bit of bonus damages. I can confidently say that when I first played this game, I don't think I used any of the techniques. Period. It kind of reminds me of, like, on my old channel, when I would play games, especially, like, RPGs. I know that I did, like, at one point I played a, a Dragon Ball Z game. And uh, there's all kinds of techniques that they learn in the game that they do on the show. I think I used about none of them. I'm like, I'm just gonna go punch, 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 punch. I think back then I just didn't quite understand. Well, I have a nice amount of gems first. Um, I just don't think I quite understand. I understood, can't speak, how to present a game in the sense, I don't wanna pretend like I do now, but I have a better idea. You know, you're supposed to show off things a little bit Maybe not everything, because there's plenty of things in games that people show off where they show off too much, and then it's boring to watch, so. Alright, so we're doing pretty good. I'm going to go a little bit further. There's all these skeletons here. They're just hanging out. And we're a little bit stronger now. You can see that we're doing 11 per hit. Let's check. Yeah, the whoa! That is a... Hacking ton of enemies. I don't know if you're required to kill everything, but I'm going to. I have a thirst. Oh, I don't even know what that is. It's a weird butthole monster. I don't like it. Whoa. See more, feed me. Whoa. Kind of weird wiener neck monster. Not a huge fan of that. Can I do the psycho slide? Up. Oh, I can. Nice. Hey. Hey. He's just really, he's just hanging out. And we're just kind of, we're just murdering him ruthlessly. Hey. Are you well? Do you want to come hang out and join my board game club? And we're like, no. We're here because we have a taste for blood. Whoa. Yeah, I would say... Of all the dungeons in this game, I remember this one the least. I actually didn't even know that there was one until I started to do my researches for this episode. Yeah, I got no recollection here of what is happening, but that's okay. We're moving and grooving anyway. Alright, this looks like... We haven't cleared out everything. You can still see those Skella boys down there. I have a good idea of where I want to stop, but maybe there we go. Okay. Is that? Did we miss one? Hello. Yeah, that's the danger. What? Not danger, but like the downside to some of these dungeons is they all look very samey. And I mean, as somebody that's clearly very good with directions, that's not going to present itself with any problems for me. Um, I probably shouldn't have killed them. Now I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, that wasn't very smart. 
It's hard to know what's down. I think we're heading to the basement of this dungeon. Okay, this looks right. Whoa. There's bats in the sky. I don't like that. Whoa, hello. Kind of like tropical freeze silhouette monsters. Okay, yeah, this is very exciting. Whoa, hello, hello. There's a couple of you. Ooh, power upgrade, we like that. Thank you. We should be doing 12 damage per hit now, I think. Oh, there's a fountain in here. Okay. Uh. Okay. The wind blows through a crack in the wall. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, oh, not these. These things are doing a number on me. Can I kill you? Yeah, all right. Just making sure. It's better to get consent first. Hey, do you mind if I kill you? I didn't want to assume anything, you know. It's it's not nice to to go about life without asking. Whoa. I was hoping I could get both of them at the same time. That'd be sweet. Power slide right into the wiener. You definitely need a defensive upgrade. We are getting clapped right now. As far as I know, we don't have any healies. Yeah. We are running on empty. Alright, but this feels pretty good. That's what she... Okay. Alright, so this is the wind tunnel. And you know how much I love getting blown. Uh, but anyway, we're going to stop here for the day. And then we will resume with more of this weird angel tunnel next time so thanks for watching everybody i've been d mike this has been super nintendo sundays with illusion of guy i'll catch you next time for more continue to like comment subscribe and watch the youtube shorts bye